Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NetSec YouTube channel. If you watched my previous video, you will notice I have been publishing a couple of uh, DD Windows operating system to Oracle Cloud Platform FreeTier Ubuntu VM. Using just one command, you can change your FreeTier Ubuntu VM with just one old CPU and one gig RAM to a usable Windows operating system. You can use Windows 7, Windows 2012, R2, 2016, 2019, and 2022. I haven't made a Windows 10 video yet. The reason why is there's a no English version image to be used for this DD process. I've been testing some of them found online, but all of them not Chinese version. I will continue to find, and if I found something, I will share out from my channel. As you can see from this network disk, you can find out that Windows 10, 2016, 2019, 2021. I have been tested 2016 and 2019. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to DD Windows 10 2021 LTSC 64-bit Chinese version to uh, Oracle Free Tier Virtual Machine. Same process as we did before. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how the resource usage looks like. It's your decision which one you would like to use in your Free Tier Virtual Machine. Now, let's start it. As I mentioned, the process is exactly the same as other videos. We're going to start in to create the Ubuntu VM first. You're going to change the image from Oracle Linux to Ubuntu Linux. Default 20.04 version, good enough. You don't need to change the shape. We're going to use in standard E2.1 micro shape, which you will have one core OCPU. 1 gigabyte memory. Good enough for us to run Win 10, Windows 2012, 2016, 2019, and 2022. Default boot volume size is more than enough, 46.6 gigabyte. SSH keys, you will need your own key or you will need to generate a new key pair. I already have one for myself, so I'm going to use in my own, then create your instance. In a minute, you will get the public IP, then you can use your favorite SSH client and using your private key to log in. The Ubuntu instance is ready now. Um, we can copy the public IP. We're going to put it into our session settings. So that's all steps you need to do creating a virtual machine, connecting to it. After that, one command, just one command. You can leave it alone and wait 30 minutes and come back. Then you will get the Windows 10 machine in the cloud and you can RDP to it. So we're going to get the command. You can look at the my prebuild command here. Um, this is using 2021. If you want to try this, just copy the whole command for Windows 10 LTSC 2021 x64. If you want to use in 2019, you can just uh, get the URL, copy link address from here. If you want 2016, if you cannot visit this network disk in the cloud. You can try others as well. VPS0.net is still available. There's a Windows 10 version here for you to use. Again, it's Chinese version. Same thing on another network cloud disk to use 
all those uh, network disks you can get to the URL and then copy command and paste into your Ubuntu session enter so what you need to do is waiting eventually they will download all script download the image and then decompress it and did it into local disk reboot system in 30 around 30 minutes you can try to enable the RDP firewall port and access to it at this moment I still didn't open RDP because I don't want to open it earlier I will wait until the time I can connect into it which is around 30 minutes I will wait until the terminal session is closed then I will stop recording the video and I will continue to wait another around 28 minutes and come back to continue the video Again, the process has been verified many times for different operating systems. It definitely working. Follow the guide, check my blog post, and copy the command to run it. You will get your RDP session to your Windows operating system in the cloud. Terminal session has been terminated. I'm going to stop the video here. I will come back around 30 minutes. Now it's 10.40 a.m. Um, I might have run the command for around 25 minutes. So I decided to give it a try right now. So first thing we will do, change the network security group. We're going to assign this allow 3389 security group to it. Basically, in this security group, this uh, 3389 port has been opened. Uh, if you don't have this one, you just go to the uh, security group and create a security rule. Source type will be CIDR. Source CIDR will be 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, which means everything. Um, all IPs, TCP, and the destination port is 3389, something like this. Then that should get you the port 3389 opened. So since we already opened, we can go back to our instance detail. To confirm that, um, after this, just open your RTP connection to connect to the this IP 140.238.147.80 you can copy it and paste it in so just give it a try you might need a um, couple of minutes more so we can uh, keep trying it doesn't seem to it working at this moment um, we will wait another four or five minutes and try it again now let's try it again um okay so we have um allow 3389 security group created okay don't ask me again right now it's working we get a login window we're gonna use an administrator as username password will be an t.ee you can select remember me so you don't have to enter it again next time so first time login is still may take a couple of minutes um, as you can see this is Chinese version you will see some Chinese 
word in the screen and the system displaying the language will be Chinese. So if you're looking at uh, Windows version, Windows 10, uh, probably need to wait a bit until I find a good one. So I will share it out. So right now we are waiting the welcome screen to be completed. Our profile folder will be created. After that, we will see the desktop and I will launch task manager to show you how many CPUs memories has been used. Again, this is one gig RAM virtual machine without good settings on the virtual memories. You might not able to do much. Now we logged in. Couple of things after you logged in, you may want to do change the password. Right now we are using default password and you may want to change it. And also you may want to change port 3389. There's a tool BAT file here, which is gonna help you to change the port 3389 to something else. Also change the password and reboot the machine. Um, you can Google it, how to do those configurations. So now I want to show you the system. At the same time, I'm going to show you the task manager. So we are running Windows 10 Enterprise version LTSC version number 21H2. 1 gig RAM, 1 core CPU. The memory is 1 gig, but uh, we can use about 2.7 gig byte memory. You can enable best performance settings to save a little bit memory here. You might want to manually set up your virtual memory, the page file size. You may need a report for that. So everything else works fine. The CPU is still fine. Only thing is the memory. We might need to adjust your virtual memory to a little bit higher to get a better performance. Other than that, um, you can feel free to use this Windows 10 LTSC in your Oracle Free Tier virtual machine. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a message under this video. I will try to answer them as early as I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Thank you for watching.